and what he committed to in the campaign. So I, it was a great experience for me. And we talked about how uh, agriculture and the productivity and needing new trade deals to make sure that uh, we can sell all the products we can grow around the world. And it was a very beneficial meeting. I, I found it to be very uh, understanding of what the issues are. We didn't talk about any specific position. He asked me what my skill sets were, and I told him uh, what they were, aside from having been uh, governor as a business person in primarily in agricultural commodities, uh, trading domestically and internationally. And uh, he lit up. He knew what it takes he, uh, to make America great again by uh, doing the things we do well, which is agriculture, uh, for one, and to free up farmers from the regulations that we see he, uh, he was spot on on those uh, those issues. I'm sorry? There's, uh, I'm interested in helping the country. I told the President-elect Trump that I would be happy to serve from Georgia, where I am uh, very happily living with my wife and 14 grandchildren, or I'd be happy to serve him if he thought I could be helpful to him here in D.C. Uh, we didn't discuss any particular offers. It was just a very genuine uh, honest, forthright meeting and uh, talking about the needs of America and how, uh, how his plans and what, his, uh, what he's talked about in the campaign. I spoke to those people across America that felt like they'd been disenfranchised and not really understood there. So we had a great meeting. The meeting was his in office, yes. Uh -huh. He was at his desk and I was there, one of his chairs, and it was a, a very informal, very friendly and uh, a great, uh, a great uh, time. Uh, any other what? <laughs> you like my tie? This is a Porsche tie, actually. Porsche made red tractors in the uh, in the uh, World War II. So uh, we didn't talk about my tie, but I should have pointed out to him. Well, he talked about really using the productivity of the American farmer all across the land to sell our products internationally with fair trade deals that will raise the boat of lives and quality of lives and eco economy here in the United States. Thanks, guys.